Hello, so I'm going to take a few moments and show you how to navigate Anatomy and Physiology Revealed, which is our virtual dissection tool for our online anatomy courses, both Anatomy Lab 1 and Anatomy Lab 2. Uh, so the first thing you're going to want to be aware of is we have a particular code here that is going to narrow down the particular assignments in here where you are only studying the particular structures that we want you to study. So it's very important that you add this or you'll be studying way more things and it'll be things that you're not required to know. And there's plenty as it is, we don't need to make extra, all right? And so the directions for this here are going to be in this folder. So using APR, and this must read here, when you click on it, all right, you're going to find these links. This is the paper right here that I have pulled up um, for you to look at. OK, so you would click on that and this is the paper. OK, and so this is the course code and I have a separate little video linked in here. It's actually this one, this video right here that will tell you how to add this in APR. So you're going to want to watch that separately if you have not already done so. Um, I will probably have it first in the list so you'll probably have already watched this okay so this is going to be assuming that you have entered your course content and that you have gotten your code from your instructor you will have a 20 digit code that your instructor will email you after census date that you will need to use to sign up for connect okay so you're going to go to connect and there's a link for that there also um, you're going to type in your your email address instead of sign in, you'll be able to sign up. You will type that in. You'll need to be very careful. The L's and ones and zeros and O's look very, very similar. The codes always work. So if for some reason you are not logging in, you need to try a different L or zero or one or O. Okay. So once you have gotten that and signed up, you will click sign in, which I've already done, and it will bring you to this page. This is your my course content. So you want to be sure that you have entered that particular code that I have given you. All right. Um, and so then you're going to go to the module you're studying. So let's just say we are muscles. Um, and so first, you're going to want to come in and practice these things. Your assignment names tell you exactly what it is we want you to do to upload your proof of work. OK, so if the title says, um, let's see muscular head and neck click to id 10 that's telling you exactly what you need so first thing is muscular i've gone to muscles and then we need to go to the topic and look for head and neck and there it is head and neck okay now these are quizzes now they don't count as a quiz grade so you're going to want to first come in here and practice so we're muscles of the head and neck so at this point for an assignment we're going to want to click quiz. But before you do that, you're going to want to go through and practice these particular structures, <coughs> learn what they are. And so some of your test questions are going to come from these images and others will come from the model worksheets. So you want to go through and use this basically for drill and practice. So once you have gone to that section and you've looked at all the different views, and you've learned these different muscles, okay? Um, you're going to want to, uh, then you're gonna be ready to take your assignment because you can have a 100% on every assignment. You should have, that should be your goal. And so muscular head and neck click to ID 10. That is the name of a particular assignment. So we went to muscular and then here we chose head and neck, okay? So now, I have practiced and I'm ready to upload my proof of work. So I'm going to choose this particular uh, one here quiz. OK, uh, and notice I'm under my course content, not all content. All content will give you way, way, way more structures. You don't want to do that. OK, and then so next, that's the first part, muscular head and, and neck. Next, it says click to ID 10. Um, so we're going to go to my structures, head and neck. All right, and now we get to the quiz type. That's what click to ID is, is the quiz type. You have lab practical, multiple choice, click to ID, and muscle actions. Now you're free to use any of these, and I would suggest using these. It's a great way to study. But your assignment that you need to turn in is going to be this, uh, remember it's muscular, 
muscles, head and neck, click to ID 10. So 10 is the number of questions. So you have 10, 25, or all. So you're going to do 10, and you're going to hit Take Quiz. So you're going to take the quiz. This is where's the sternocleidomastoid. So you'll click what you think it is. Oh, look there, I got it right. Okay. And then you'll move on to your next structures there. Oh, got that one wrong. I chose uh, the orbicularis here that's around the mouth instead of what's around the eyes. Okay. So next, uh, depressed or anguli oris. Click what you think it is. That one clicked wrong. So just keep going um, and, and answer the questions um, as you go through. All right. Um, I'm just going to kind of click some stuff to get through. Um, so please don't try to use this to study. Um, all right. Let's see, how many more questions do I have? Okay. All right. So this page here, I've gone through, I got half of them wrong. So five out of 10. So I want to click I can, I can take a picture of this or I can screenshot this. The main thing I need to see is what your results are, okay? But I would click save results because I need to have your name on there, okay? So here's the name, all right? And it shows I got 50%. And so my homework score on here would be five out of 10. So ideally what you want to do then is to go through and do this until you get 10 out of 10 because that's a big portion of your homework grade. Your homework grade is 35% in lab. You need a 70 to pass. So if you get 100 on all of your homework grades, and all of your homework grades are pretty much completion, if you do them all and you submit them um, on time for your worksheets, that's 100%. If you do these until you get 100%, until you get a 10 out of 10, that's another 100%. So 35 is halfway to 70. So that gives you a lot more leeway on your exams. So you need to be sure and turn everything on time. Do these until you get 10 out of 10 and uh, do all of your assignments, okay? But this is the page here, the example that you're going to want to upload, all right? Um, that's your proof of work, so to speak, okay? And so we said save results. Let's see, I'm not sure where this saved. I'm gonna save this to my desktop so that it is easy for me to find. You can, of course, save it wherever you want. Well, actually, it's in downloads, so I'm going to leave it in downloads, okay? Muscles, structures, um, you can rename it to the assignment name. That's what I would recommend, saying muscles of the head and neck click to ID 10, so you upload it in the correct place. And so now to upload that assignment, I probably should have found the tweak that was in first. Let's see, this is going to be down here. Muscles is the last thing we do. Oh, and there, I got lucky. So... APR, muscles of the head and neck, click to ID 10. So I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to, um, this is going to let me do this as an instructor. You would take, I guess I can't do this as an instructor. You would take your file. You would pull it over here and add it, okay, into this little area and click submit. All right. Um, and so you will submit that and that will be your assignment being turned in. OK, um, I would recommend that you save all of these just in case something happens um, and it doesn't get submitted correctly. You still have placed a uh, proof of your work um, and then you can upload up the re upload that because sometimes they don't upload correctly. OK. All right, and so that's that assignment here. We said save results so we can close, and now we can go somewhere else and work on the next section. All right, so I hope that's helpful. Um, be sure to upload these, and like I said, be sure that you get 10 out of 10 for each of these assignments.